As the sun barely rises in the morning sky, geophysicists and ordnance safety experts with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers prepare for another day of braving the freezing Massachusetts weather. The duo of Elise Goggin and Marty Holmes are using a system called the Metal Mapper at Camp Edwards National Guard training site located on Joint Base Cape Cod to find unexploded ordnance located under the ground in the installation's central impact area. It's an electromagnetic induction uh, sensor and it allows us to learn a bit more about the shape uh, and size of the metal that we sit it on. The metal mapper technology that we're using is uh, uh, is something that we've been looking for for a long time, something that can uh, you can place on the ground and take a reading and have a pretty good idea of what type of munition you're looking at beneath the ground surface. The system is helping to keep the cost of cleaning up the site down. The metal mapper allows them to discriminate with higher fidelity, identify what's in the ground. So we're anticipating to reduce our digs by up to 70 percent, which is a, a huge cost savings. The metal mapper works by penetrating the ground with electromagnetic waves on three axes. It sends that information to an onboard computer which performs some basic calculations and stores the information for geophysicists to process when they get back into the office. The field work is a bit tedious. We basically look at a screen. On that screen, we have loaded all the points that we need to sit that machine on top of. So we navigate to each of those points, set down the array, uh, sit there for about a minute while it collects the data. The Corps is working with the Army National Guard Bureau to identify and remove much of the munitions from the site. This after the Environmental Protection Agency ordered the cleanup to protect local drinking water from potential future contamination caused by the unexploded ordnance. The base sits on a sole source aquifer and it is the sole drinking water supply for all of the Upper Cape and that mainly consists of the four towns of Bourne, Falmouth, Mashpee and Sandwich and of course the base has a large resident population. Goggin says they have been on site off and on since the spring and anticipate the work lasting for a few more years as they expand beyond the original eight acres of targets. From Joint Base Cape Cod, Massachusetts, Patrick Bloodgood.